Are you curious to try out an AI large language model, but don't like the idea of your data being processed in the cloud? That's a fair stance, and it's the reason why folks have been working on getting these to run directly on the device without a connection to the internet. So today, I'll show you a free application from Google that offers exactly this before diving into how to set it up and then giving a couple of examples for you to test with. This is a free and open source application that was developed by Google, and it can be downloaded from this GitHub project page, which I'll be sure to link down to in the video description below. You're going to want to visit this page, find the releases section at the bottom, and then download the latest APK file. You can then sideload this file just like you would any other Android application that you have downloaded from outside of the Google Play Store. Launching the application will first bring you to a page like this, as the main menu offers three different methods of interacting with the large language model that you have downloaded. We have Ask Image, that allows you to upload a photo and then ask some questions about it. And you can use this to get the AI to create a description of the image. You can ask it to solve problems like math equations or repair suggestions, or you can just use it to identify an object. There's also a prompt lab option here, which offers the ability to summarize text rewrite some text in a different tone, generate code for a project, or just use freeform prompts to explore the single term large language model use case. And lastly, there is an AI chat option, which allows you to engage in multi-turn conversations for general knowledge topics. Something that's great for coming up with recipes using items that you already have, creative brainstorming sessions, and just casual chat sessions. However, for any of this to work, you first need to download the large language model that you want to use. And we do that by first tapping into one of these categories, and then you're gonna see a list of models that you have access to by default. Since this application was developed by Google, it makes sense that they have included shortcuts to their most recent large language model options by default. With the Gemma 3N being the newest portable model that the company has released as of recording this video. But be aware, there are two different versions of this. One, that was trained on two billion parameters, the E2B option, letting you know that, while the other was trained on four billion parameters. And you see that E4B right there. I recommend starting off with the larger model first and then downgrading to the two billion or even the one billion option if you feel the model is taking too long to complete its tasks. The great part here is that you can manually install any large language model from Hugging Face. There seems to be over 450 models to choose from on the Hugging Face website, and these have been uploaded by the community, with each one seeming to have been optimized for specific tasks, whether that's image generation, code creation, creative writing, or anything else. And we just tap on that plus option and then import that local model from a file that we have downloaded. I highly recommend you browse through the collection of large language models they have to choose from and then manually importing one to the application. I'll be sure to link to this page down below as well so that it's easy for everyone to find. Or you could just download one of the Gemma options that are provided in this application by default. 
Either way, you will need to create an account with Hugging Face in order to access and download that LLM. The process is rather straightforward and it's completely free. So you can fill out the form and then you'll have access to those large language models in a minute or two. When you're ready to test out one of these LLMs, we can tap into one of these categories and then choose the model that you have downloaded to your smartphone or tablet. We're gonna tap on try it. And now we have a session with this large language model. So we can ask it something like, are some states in America that I can visit to see sea animals? By default, these models are gonna be run on the CPU, but I have read some people say that running them on the GPU is not only faster, but it also takes less battery life to respond to these messages. You'll see the app respond just like it would if you were using one of the popular online options like Gemini or ChatGPT, as it's basically creating the responses in the exact same way. These are all called transformer large language models. So the only real difference is going to be how many parameters have been used to train it. And with these more portable options being much, much smaller than what a billion dollar company can offer. So it makes sense that you're gonna see these responses take a little more time than you would if you were using a website. And this speed will actually depend on how fast your phone is. But I suspect that this will speed up over time as the CPU cores in our phones get more and more powerful. And you can see with this question, I was recommended some coastal states like Washington, Oregon, Alaska, with very specific locations, just like you would expect from any other large language model online. The main difference here, you're only running this locally on your device, and the time. As you can see, it was taking a long time. It actually took six minutes for it to respond with all of that. But I highly doubt that speed will be an issue for those of you who are wanting to avoid using the commercial LLMs that are available online. It's a great way to dip your toe into the generative AI large language model world without giving away all of your data. And it's a great way to have AI analyze, describe, and identify various objects without having that data being sent up to the cloud. But again, in a way that does not give these massive companies a way to monetize our personal data. Gemma 3N and all of these other LLMs that are run locally on your device with the help of the Google AI Edge application will not be sending anything to the cloud. And you can make sure this is the case by only using the app while you have airplane mode enabled as well. The Google AI Edge application is a great companion to Hugging Face, the community repository of trained LLMs. And I suspect we'll be using it a lot more in the future when more specialized models are released as open source. But I want to hear what you think about this application and about using large language models locally on the device in general. They do still have issues of hallucinations from time to time, but they can still be really useful for general purposing tasks. I used them to identify some equipment from under the house recently, 
and to make sure the sound I was hearing from it wasn't something that I should be worried about. I appreciate each and every one of you who has stuck with me to the end of this video. It really means a lot when I see all of you folks getting 100% completed watch times for these new videos. Just please remember to give this video a like as it really helps to keep me motivated here. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already.